everyone, welcome to another video. It is me, Desiree. I join you here with no eyeshadow on because today I want to talk about this palette from ColourPop. Is my mirror in the way? This is the Nude Mood eyeshadow palette. I got this for Christmas last year, and when I opened it, I had I had just bought, I don't know, five ColourPop palettes the week before, and I, I don't even think I've used any of them, to be honest. I bought them just because they looked cool, and ColourPop nails the packaging every single time. They know how to do a good um, packaging design, the branding, everything is beautiful. Uh, so when I opened it, I was like, oh, okay, and I, I opened up the palette and it's just neutrals. And I thought, uh, you know, it's gonna be good because I, I know the quality is gonna be good, but I wasn't head over heels in love with the color selection. But then I started using it and it has been a default palette for me for a long time. I never talk about it. It's one of those things I use all the time and always forget to talk about in a video, but I absolutely love this. So this is going to be a rave review. I'm gonna swatch it, I'm going to apply it, I'll give you some pros and cons. But overall, I think this palette is awesome. On Ulta's website, it is $14, and this is one of their like permanent palettes. They have it on the display at Ulta all of the time. And you know ColourPop loves to do their limited edition palettes and constantly like cycle through different collaborations and stuff, which I think is really fun. They're all so well done and just really well designed. But this is one that is part of their like permanent line. So this palette is still available. I hope it's available for a really long time. It's a great palette. Um, a couple of cons, I wanna say the only con that I can think of here, maybe two cons depending on how you feel about the Super Shock shadows, but this shade right here in the middle is a Super Shock shadow. If you don't know what the Super Shock shadow formula is, it's like a putty kind of soft cream kind of shadow texture. Um, so having it here in open air, like, you know, yeah, it's gonna close, but it's still gonna dry out there because there's no like closed seal or like uh, lid on it, you know? So it does have a little tiny, tiny bit of bounce to it, but it still performs really well. Now it just performs kind of like any like pressed shimmer shadow, you know? Uh, it's still really nice, but just a heads up, you know, I've had this since Christmas last year and it's doing well. Like right now it's October, had it for 10 months and it's still doing well for me. And I keep some of the Super Shock stuff around a long time. In fact, I just used this blush yesterday from ColourPop, the Super Shock Cheek. It's completely dry, there's no putty left to it, but it still performs. It just kind of changes in texture a little bit. So that is one con, I guess. And then the other con I wanted to bring up is on Ulta's website, the pictures of this palette do not look like the palette. Watch, I'll show the pictures here on the screen. Like the first picture you see, that's not this palette. Cause even the shade mugged off in the picture, it looks like a, a light peach color, but it's not light peach. That's that one right there. So the colors are not the same in the pictures as they are in real life. And when I was looking at the um, the reviews, there are some people that said this is not what I thought it was gonna be. This person said this is an orange palette. Every color is a shade of orange. And I feel like what they meant when they said orange is that it's a warm palette. Like this is definitely a warm palette. Uh, color, like toned palette here. Every shade, yeah, I guess it's gonna have that kind of warm orangey kind of undertone, but I wouldn't say this is an orange palette at all. And then another one of the reviews said the matte shadows are orange toned and all of them are powdery, but with a lot of fallout. Um, I actually have not had any fallout with this palette whatsoever, which is why I have all of my makeup on right now. Normally I do, or I've been in the habit of doing eyes first just to kind of wipe away fallout but I haven't had an issue with fallout with any of these shades whatsoever. So I'm gonna do a little look and then I will swatch all of the shades, talk to you a little bit about them, but I'm gonna go through the shades as they are described on the uh, the website because some of these do have like micro glitters in them. It's a matte shade, but it has little sparkles in it. There are some shimmers and of course that super shock shade there too. So let me clean off my brush. I have an itch right here and I'm trying so hard not to scratch it because I scratched it a second ago and it was beet red right here and I could feel it. You know when you have an itch and you can't scratch it, it feels worse. Like I would just, just want to scratch it, but I don't want this beet red patch on my skin throughout the video. I'm just gonna wipe the brush off real quick and let's zoom in, shall we? My flat hair. 
So here's a closer look at the color selection. I'm gonna go in with this top one here. This is a shade to me in a palette that pretty much goes completely unused. I never really have a need for a shade like that, um, but I don't know, I'm just gonna use it. I feel like sometimes that shade will like set your lid, maybe you put on too much primer, maybe you use concealer as a primer. It's good for that, not a ton of pigment to it as you can see. It's just kind of something nice to like take the tackiness of your primer away, I guess, if you like that sort of thing. I, I know I put it on all chaotically, but it's like not a color that's really gonna show up anyway. Um, I have the itch, I have to scratch it. I have to scratch the itch. Oh my gosh, I have to. <sighs> I'll just pull my collar up so you can't see how red it's gonna get. Well, as I was scratching, there now is makeup under my nails. I'm sure I scratched all the bronzer off of my, my neck. Oh, goodness gracious. So I'm gonna do a look that I did yesterday that I really enjoyed. I'm gonna use these three colors here on the bottom. So I'm gonna go in with the shade The Coco. This one they describe as a matte burnt sienna with gold flecks. This one does have the, um, the little micro glitters in it, but one thing that's interesting about this one is that the glitters don't go everywhere. Sometimes the shades have those micro glitters and they end up all over your face. With this one, I haven't had any of those issues. Like I said, I haven't even experienced any fallout. Look how nice that blended. Such a nice formula. Sometimes I get a ColourPop palette that's really awful. For the most part, ColourPop is pretty consistent with their formula, but every now and then they wanna try something different and it doesn't really work out. And then I'll kind of be off ColourPop for a while and I won't use it for a long time because I only remember that one bad experience. But then I have something like this, it's always such a default palette that just works. Every single shade in here, I think, has a purpose. With this one here for me, you know, eh, but I'm sure it serves a purpose for a lot of people and it does kind of help the colors really blend and blend together too, so I guess it does serve a purpose. Nice. So then I'm gonna go in with the shade Moody, this dark one here, just with the same brush. They call this one Matte Chestnut Brown. Just gonna get a little bit, kind of just dab it here on the outer corner, just for a little bit of depth, but not something too dark. And I like that they, they put that color in there, like that's the darkest shade in the palette. It adds that perfect little depth that you might want in your outer corner without getting too dark. Like it just blends in so nicely with the other shades. And I think when you use the same brush too, like there's already a little bit of the other shadow on the brush and it kind of just all blends together. And I was gonna use Lap of Lux, this like really nice, how do they describe it? Metallic golden bronze. Oh yeah, that's a perfect description of that. I was gonna use that on the lid today, but I think I wanna use the Super Shock shade just so you could see how it uh, still performs after a year. So it's the shade Wink Wink. This one is a Super Shock with gold champagne pinpoints. And I guess when you push it, you could kind of feel a little bit of that texture there. You can tell it was a cream shadow at one time. So I'm just gonna get it on my finger here and just put it on the lid. And as you can see, it still has some substance to it. Still very shimmery. You still get the same payoff, I think. Just with a little bit of a different formula. So there's that. Other side. And like I said, I don't think this palette is orange, but everything is warm. And some of the shades are very rosy. Like a lot of the browns have a rosiness to them. I'm gonna get a little bit more of the cocoa here. And with the gold flecks, like they are barely visible. I don't really see them at all and I'm, to be honest, I completely forget that that even has those flecks in it because I think, I don't know, either they're really, really, really fine or they fly off. I really don't know, but I don't see them on my face at all. They're there, I guess, but I don't really see them too much. That itch, it's still there. I feel like I have something here I need to rinse off. I tried a new sunscreen today from Naturium. I had been really wanting to try one of their sunscreens and I had to rinse it off. Um, and I didn't rinse off my neck and I kind of feel like that might be what's happening there. So, uh, 
Gotta return that today. I'm gonna go with the shade here called Mugged Off. This one here they call Matte Burnt Peach. Ooh, I love that description. Matte Burnt Peach with Gold Flex. This is another one that has those little glitters in it, but I don't really see them on the eyes after I use it. And my under eyes look awful. I've been using the Sunday Riley Retinol Eye Serum, and I forget, you probably shouldn't use it every single day, and my under eyes look really bad. Like they are peeling so awful. So I definitely gotta back off. So if you see my peely under eye skin, just act like you don't, okay? Thanks. I gotta rinse it off, be right back. Ooh, that felt better, look at that. Like, ugh, very irritating. Where was I? I think I wanna put a little bit more of the dark one called Moody on the outer corner. Just now that I saw in the bathroom, in the bathroom mirror, I think I want a little more depth out here. And these like blend themselves, like I'm literally just patting it on and it's just there. I love this. I feel like I'm gonna get all into ColourPop now. I'm gonna have a ColourPop renaissance and discover all of my palettes that I have. Oh, I just love it. I just absolutely love it. A little bit more of the cocoa, just to bring that little red pop back. Cause I feel like the Super Shock kind of covered up just a little bit of it. Ooh, I love, 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 love these tones so much. Let's do some mascara and we'll wrap it up. Here is a closer look at the eyes. I mean, I freaking love this palette. I love these tones. I love how easy they are to work with. I did put on the Grande Drama Intense Thickening Mascara with Castor Oil again because I can't stop. I swear this has grown my lashes. But yeah, let's do some swatches. I don't think I've actually swatched this palette before, but I am gonna read from the descriptions that they give on the website. So this first one, oh, this is nice. This is rich. Oh my gosh, this is one of those powders you wanna like rub between your fingers because it feels just so good. This one's called Bluffin. It is a matte pale ivory. That's the one I had just like chaotically dusted all over my eyelid because I don't know, I just wanted to use it, but that's a shade I don't really get a lot of use of um, in palettes. The next one is Wink Wink. This is that Super Shock shade they describe as uh, soft gold with champagne pinpoints. I would say this is very, very gold from the, like looking at it in the pan, I don't see a lot of gold, but when you have it on your eye and in a swatch, and like even just on my fingertip, it's very, very golden, but just pretty. Like, see how it still performs, even though it's kind of like a dry um, cream shadow. The next one is called Bear to Wear. This one is a matte soft light beige. Ooh, that's a pretty one. This one right here. I know these are all the super light shades, but these have some nice pigmentation once you put them on your lids. The next one, Au Naturel, this is another really pretty one. Ooh, that's pretty. This is a matte muted saddle brown. That one's really pretty. I love that one. The next one is a, a shimmer shade. This one's called Put On Airs, Metallic Bright Copper Gold. And these shimmers are nice. They have a lot of substance, substance to them. They don't feel thin or chunky or like they're just gonna fall off of your eye. Really pretty and they stick on the lid really, really well. That is so nice. And when I was using this, you know, it was kind of reminding me of the Too Faced Cinnamon Pop-Tart palette I had tried. I don't know, I kind of get the same vibe from this, the same kind of rich brown tones and stuff. So if you already have this and the richness of that palette in like seduced you, you don't need it. You got them all right here. The next one mugged off is the Matte Burnt Peach with Gold Sparkle. Matte Burnt Peach, that's just such a nice name. So this is the one that had the sparkle in it, but tell me if you can see any sparkle in there. I couldn't really see it at all. You can see it in the pen, but I don't really see it on the lid, but maybe it's just enough to like bounce the light off when you're outside or something. But as far as in use, it just performs like a matte. The next one is called Lap of Lux. This is a metallic golden bronze. In the pan, it looks like it's gonna be a nice metallic shade, it even feels like one. But on the eyes, I feel like it performs a little bit more like a satin shadow. Still very, very pretty though. The next one, the Coco, I love this one. It's called Matte Burnt Sienna with Gold Flex. Let's do right here. 
That's a really pretty color. I love this one. It just has like some nice rosiness to it. And I feel like this might be where people are saying that it's an orange palette because it's all very, very warm tones, some rosiness. And then that last one called Moody, this is a matte chestnut brown. Whoops, I swatched it on very, very close to the other one. That's the one I had used on the outer corner there. I love that shade too, super, super easy to use. And I love that they put that dark shade in here because it balances everything so nicely, but it's not too dark. I feel anything darker would have kind of thrown off the palette and made it a little less like perfect, but I love that shade there and it blends it blends itself and it works really well with the other shades. So I absolutely love this palette. It's definitely a go-to for me. I just always forget to talk about it, but I love it. If you have it, let me know what you think. I feel like I'm gonna get all into ColourPop again, but yeah, that is it. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know what you think of the palette. I would love to know. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe so you don't miss my next one, and I will see you later in another video.